Okay, so we're going to be installing the Raspberry Pi into the Kamikit uh, case here. Again, if you're interested in picking up this specific kit, look in the description box below. But this is a cool uh, clear case that has multiple uh, tiered kind of level to support the Raspberry Pi Model B. Now, again, during this installation process, you're going to want to leave, here's our micro SD chip they're going to be using. You actually want to leave that outside of your Raspberry Pi. Now again, uh, normally it would be uh, slotted in right over here in the SD card reader, uh, but we're not gonna be, uh, it basically it says to avoid uh, damaging the card. You're supposed to install this without that in. Okay, so we need to open the case now, which has uh, again multiple tiers. We're gonna take off the top, just like this, and set this over to the side. And then basically, this is a little tricky, you just need to come in here with a couple fingers and push the bottom out just like that, and then your middle section will, will come out. Now again, we're just gonna be aligning this guy with uh, the USB ports on the same direction. So we're gonna set this right in the, uh, the bottom of the case, just like this, and uh, no need to screw it in or anything, it just kind of fits nicely uh, on the bottom there. So once it's kind of snugly set in, you can set it on the ground, and then we're gonna take our, uh, our again, the middle layer of the case, sit it in nice and comfy just right on top. That'll just punch right down in. It should be a nice snug fit. And then we'll put our top right back on just like this. And there you go. That's how you insert the Raspberry Pi, again, Model B, into the case. Okay, as you can see, that fits in there real nice and snug. And we have access now to our micro SD card slot on the bottom there. On this side we have our USB power adapter, our HDMI port, and uh, this is the audio jack right here. And on this side we have our Ethernet uh, port and four USB ports. So uh, there you go. It's a fairly, fairly simple process. Um, again, make sure you install your heat sinks before you stick it into uh, this case. And uh, if you need a video instructional on just that portion, uh, you can actually check out the links in the description box below. All right, uh, let's move on now to our software installation process.